Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your MSFET GTS2 Mini with Zap app in iOS. Without losing any time, let's go ahead and open up the Zap app. You can scan the QR code in the watch or go ahead and search the Zap app in App Store. We have three pages down below. The fourth page is Profile. As you can see my device, we have all the devices that we connected before. We go to add device, watch, watch with QR code, and you power on the GTS2 Mini, scan the QR code, and it will start to search the watch and try to connect it. So as you can see, while the searching is being done, as you can see, now that it found our watch, you press accept phone connection. It's binding together. And after a few seconds, you should be able to use the watch. We have now recovering the watch data, etc. And we have now the GTS2 Mini connected with the iOS. So as you can see, not so fast, but very easy process to do. Back at the first page, as you can see, we have here the statistic for steps, day, week, month, and year statistic. Also, we have total distance, total time, and total burn calories. We have some statistic for months and weeks before. Same with calories, as you can see, day, week, and month calories that we did. Also, the statistic and what type of sport we did to burn those calories. We have sleep as well. You can see deep sleep, light sleep, awake time, sleep time, etc. We have blood oxygen in the next position, day, week, month, and year statistic. Same with heart rate. As you can see, we have all the heart rates that we measured before with the timing and the date when we measured it. We have the weight, PAI, sleep that we saw before, cycles for the ladies. We have the statistic for this as well. And we have black streaks and my tools at the bottom. So this is what we have included in the first page. And these are all the options that Zap app will offer us. And the second page, which is enjoy, we have alarm, which we can set an alarm and it will ring and vibrate in your watch. We have find device, device and watch faces at the third position where we can find new watch faces and we can change the watch faces that we already have. So at the store, you will go through all of this and choose the one that it fits you and you like it. So we will go with this one is very simple and it looks pretty good. Press signs and download as you can see the downloading will be very fast. And now it will ask for confirmation to change the last face. In iOS it will take about two minutes as it says in the watch. But in the end you will have a brand new watch face and it looks pretty good. After watch face we have friends where we can find our friends. We have target settings. Incoming calls, app alert, we have to allow here a couple of apps that we use. So we get notification from them, we have vibration, cycles again, word clock, device application management, we can change the order of these, app list, and to-do list, which we can add things. At the third page, when we connect the watch, we have the page for the GTS2 Mini, we saw the store to change the faces, so basically, we have a couple of options that we already saw, just repeating themselves. We have notification and reminder, we already saw this again. And we, as you can see, most all of these are on, except the emails. We have vibration that we already saw it. Health monitoring, as you can see, we have all day heart rate, activity heart rate monitoring, and sleep data with some assistance qualities, etc. that it will alert us in the end of the day. We have watch settings here, band location, and the language that we can change as many times as we want. And we have plenty of these, app, uh, app list management that we saw before, find device discoverable, activity hard rate sharing, these are all of, but we can turn them on. We have binding restriction system update about this device and unpair. Here at more, we will find customer certification, survey, my goal, friends, my records, ad account, feedback, smart analyze, and the settings down below. So guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next video with another smart device.